And here to introduce Josh is a 14-time Grammy-winning producer, composer, and arranger who has worked with such luminaries as Earth, Wind & Fire, In Sync, Chicago, Whitney Houston, Natalie Cole, and Tony Braxton. And he's had a 13-year run as Celine Dion's producer. As an added treat, he is going to be accompanying Josh tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome David Foster. Thank you. You can go a little more on the curtain there, please, if you don't mind. Just a little more. Uh, how's everybody this evening? Can you hear me in the back? Can you hear me in the very back? Yes? Well, this is, um, this is an exciting night for us, myself, and, uh, and Warner Brothers Records. Um, for those of you that don't know anything about me, I'm a record producer. I've been doing it for 30 years. Um, I haven't felt this way about an artist since I saw Celine Dion perform when she was 18 up in a tent in Montreal. And so I kind of dedicated a year and a half of my life to making this record and trying to make the best record that we could. Um, Josh, excuse me, these are my earphones. Josh is... Um, a remarkable, remarkable young man. He, uh, well, we'll tell you more about him as we're doing our show, but this is what I wanted you to know because it's kind of important. I've taken him to charity events uh, for about the last two or three years, and that's how we got Ally McBeal. We played for David E. Kelly, and to his credit, David E. Kelly looked at him and said, I think this kid can act. Without any hesitation, he put him on the show, and that, of course, started the whole ball rolling. But Josh has only ever done, like, a song or two in his life, because he's only born about an hour ago. So he, he, this is the very, very first time that, um, that he has done more than a couple of songs, because he's just beginning. He's got this magnificent voice, but this is really his coming out party. And to say that he is scared shitless would be probably an understatement, but I shouldn't speak for him. He's, he's not. He's, um, he's really, really looking forward to this. But this is quite the crowd to uh, have your coming out party. And just very quickly, I would just say that I've been making these records for 30 years, and it always kind of felt like I slid the music under the door, and they would slide food underneath, and I'd eat more, and then I'd slide more music. And I swear to God, I had no idea how it became a hit, or it didn't. I just didn't know. And I mean, three years ago, I wouldn't have been impressed with this room, but tonight, I can tell you, you guys are so important to what we're doing here with Josh, because as you know, he's had no radio play yet, and it's really been you guys that have been carrying the ball and making this so, so successful after only 15 weeks. So we really, really thank you, and I really mean that. Um, and the last thing I'd like to say is, who the hell planned that we had to perform for half an hour before you eat anything. Whose idea was that? Because if I was you guys, I'd be a little pissed off about that. But we're gonna do our very best up here and I'm not making any apologies. This guy is a magnificent, magnificent talent. And um, without further ado, um, we'd like to present Josh Groban.
warm round of applause for Josh Groban. Kui chel buio fuori di me ed anche un po' dentro di me che assurdità questa città senza persone io non so spiegarmi anche come ma non è questa la mia dimensione e la mia mente non voglio più queste parole tu dove sei la tua voce dove senza di te senza il tuo aiuto che sarà di o rabbia che sì qui nel mio cuore non voglio più queste parole tu dove sei il tuo sorriso dove senza di te senza il tuo amore che sarà di me Actually, if I could sing like that, I'd be walking up to strangers and go, hey, you see, want to see what I can do? It's just so amazing. And I wanted to say, too, that um, we, um, we know that we're a little tiny bit outside of the box, but to the credit of um, yourselves and the public and just kind of good music in general, I think Josh is proving that there is room for everything and it's really really exciting for for all of us at Warner Brothers and they've worked so hard and you've worked so hard and we're just thrilled so a big question when we're recording should we do a cover song how many say yes how many say absolutely not well too fucking bad because we're doing one we did it on the album we like it and um, I don't know it's just uh, this is a beautiful Don McLean song, and it's one that I've listened to for years. And um, Don McLean is amazing, and he wrote this song called Vincent. Uh, 
about Vincent van Gogh, and uh, we decided to take our shot at it. So we're ready. This is uh, this is our Vincent. on the snowy linen land Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen They did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry night Flaming flowers that brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflect in Vincent's eyes of china blue Colors changing hue of amber gray Weathered faces lined in pain are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity and how you tried to set them free They would not listen They did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now For they could not love you But still your love was true And when no hope was left inside on that starry, starry night You took your life as lovers often do But I could have told you, Vincent This world was never meant For one as beautiful as you Perhaps they never 